Hello everyone, my name is David and this is a video on how to make money from gaming videos on YouTube. I highly recommend you watch this video all the way through to get the whole picture of the steps you need to take to monetize gaming videos and protect yourself from copyright violation. I hate the fact that I have to make this video because every content creator wants to focus on making their videos and not the legal ramifications of actually getting paid from making videos. It sounds like a great deal, doesn't it, making money playing video games? Because you were going to play games anyway, so why not make money while playing? Now, making money from gaming videos is not as easy as just uploading the videos and putting advertisements next to them. YouTube has a very strict copyright enforcement policy. It makes sense that you can't upload whole movies or TV shows, because if you're watching those movies or TV shows on YouTube, then the content creator isn't earning any money. YouTube uses an automatic detection system that matches segments of your uploaded video to copyrighted content. With gaming content, though, literally hundreds of gaming videos are uploaded every minute. Companies who own the content choose not to take the videos down because it advertises the game to have the gameplay video on YouTube. There has been a lot of drama in the gaming community lately as of the December 2013 YouTube updates. A lot of gaming videos that have been up for months or even years have been flagged for copyrighted content. YouTube revised its algorithm for determining matching content to copyrighted content and it got a lot more strict as to what videos fell under its monetization policy, but overall after the initial drama, things will stabilize and content producers will create gaming videos like they always have. What happens when you try to claim ad revenue from gaming videos is that YouTube runs a content ID match screen to content owned by a gaming company and the video has to undergo monetization review before you can claim the ad revenue. When a video goes under monetization review, it's never seen by anyone from Google. There are too many people trying to claim money from gaming videos and not enough people employed by Google to deal with every instance of monetization review. Instead, the video is sent to someone from a gaming company to make sure the YouTuber has the proper rights to monetize their content. But what could very well happen is the person working for Activision or EA or Capcom declines every video on the list because they simply don't have the time to review each individual video. But why isn't everyone just pre-approved to claim ad revenue from gaming videos when videos on YouTube are free advertising for the game? Because you're still making money off of someone else's work. Yes, it is you playing the game and that gameplay is completely unique compared to someone else's gameplay, but the copyrighted gaming content is any visual or audio content as a result of using the product. Even if you make a commentary over a gameplay, the video would not be possible without the work of the programmers, artists, or directors, and everyone involved in making the game. Putting a commentary over a gameplay doesn't change the fact that others worked significantly harder than you did for the content that it is in your video. Now, some YouTubers try to monetize videos claiming fair use of copyrighted content. You can use copyrighted content for education, review, criticism, and other professional instances, but fair use is not a safety blanket or a get out of jail free card. Fair use covers content that supplements your original work. The video has to be mostly your own original work before even thinking about using the fair use clause. Now, fair use for education could be if a teacher makes an argument against video games causing violence and they want to use gameplay footage that shows examples of violence in video games. The research and the argument are yours and the specific gameplay examples help viewers understand what you're trying to teach. But an in-game tutorial or a walkthrough doesn't qualify under fair use because your video wouldn't be possible without game, that game having been made by others. Now, fair use for review could include graphics card benchmarking like Linus and Slick from Linus Tech Tips using gameplay footage to show what gameplay is used to benchmark a graphics card to give consumers an idea of graphics card performance. That's covered under fair use. If you want to make a video about the PlayStation 4 and whether it's a good value for its money, or if you want to make a video about a specific game and whether it's worth the money or not, those instances definitely qualify under fair use for review. If you want to make a weapon review or a guide within the game, that's not qualified under fair use because others put in work to create the weapon in the game. Obviously, fair use doesn't cover everything that you would ever want to do for a gaming video, so the most consistent way to receive ad revenue on your gaming videos without going through monetization review every single time is to join a YouTube gaming network. 
Networks pay gaming companies for the rights for their partners to claim ad revenue from gameplay videos. Partners of YouTube networks are allowed to monetize gameplay videos and claim ad revenue from them. Some of the money goes to you and some will go to the network. The exact percentages are negotiable and a lot depends on the network and the YouTuber's popularity. I am partnered with the TGN network whose advertising parent is Broadband TV. I can't go into specifics about my earnings due to a non-disclosure agreement, but it's obviously not enough to do YouTube full time. I still work 40 hours a week at my day job. My network is home to some superstars on YouTube like Amazing Films 24-7 and KYR Speedy. It used to be extremely difficult to join a YouTube network, but right now the requirements are quite attainable for anyone who's really dedicated. You only need 1,000 views per day and no copyright strikes on your channel. Another pretty big YouTube network that's worth joining or considering joining is the full screen network. Machinima used to be pretty strong, but they've definitely clamped down and have been more restrictive on all but their largest channels. So I don't think Machinima right now is one of the best places to go for new channels. Machinima used to be the network to join because they were, I think they were the first network that allowed you to monetize gaming videos. Each network has their website that you can visit to apply for partnership if you meet their eligibility requirements, but joining a network is not a guarantee for success. Even if you're a part of a network and no one's watching your videos, you still won't earn much money because you get paid per X number of views. My advice to anyone interested in starting out on making gaming videos on YouTube is to focus more on producing quality content people would want to watch instead of preoccupying yourself with joining a network and making money as quickly as possible. If your content is good enough, you will get noticed and networks will recruit you. Anyone interested in starting out on YouTube should be motivated by fun. Once you have a more consistent viewer base and you earn a monetary reward for your efforts, then that's all the better. Some YouTubers manage to turn YouTube into their job, but an extraordinary amount of work goes into their videos. It's not like the early days of YouTube where fewer people had HD video recording hardware and if you had HD Call of Duty gameplay, you were the man. But now new consoles have a DVR built in. Anyone can do walkthroughs and let's plays. To get views on YouTube, it's not enough to just post good Call of Duty gameplay and speak semi-coherently. Anyone can get good Call of Duty gameplay. All you have to do is lobby shop enough and spawn trap by capturing two flags and domination. The channels that were known for high scoring Call of Duty gameplays grew quickly a few years ago, but they've definitely stalled now. If you're a one trick pony like you only know how to do good Call of Duty gameplay, people get bored and moved on. To make YouTube a full-time job, you have to put in as many hours as a full-time job. Some of the top YouTubers are working 60 to 70 hours a week, and most of that is not behind their gaming rig, most of that is behind their workstation. Unless your gaming rig is your workstation, but that's a topic for another commentary. The top gaming commentators upload frequently and a lot of effort goes into each video. You really have to speak to and really connect and foster a community. Drifter from the Call of Duty community has an in-depth series and he goes over everything Call of Duty related from weapons to killstreaks to perks to anything that you would have a question on in terms of getting good Call of Duty multiplayer gameplay. Level Cap does detailed battlefield guide videos. It is very hard to get views on Let's Play videos. It's fair to say that 1% of the Let's Play channels get 100% of the money. To be honest with you, I think only a very few people who are interested in doing Let's Plays should actually be doing Let's Plays. You have to be genuinely entertaining and your commentary has to be not forced or awkward during gameplay because it's pretty hard to do to be interesting during live gameplay. And it's an aspect of personality. It's a skill you don't just learn if you're not already extroverted. You have to be honest with yourself. If you want to do Let's Play videos, are you able to manage a professional level of consistency? And do you have the ability to carry a game by your personality alone? It's not impossible for new channels to make money from gaming videos on YouTube, but it's important that you make videos with the correct frame of mind and have realistic expectations. You should start making videos for fun. If you make 1,000 videos and don't earn a single dollar from YouTube, hopefully you had fun every minute. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way through. You could have been on any video on YouTube right now. Instead, you managed to bear with me and stick this video out and watch it all the way through. I really appreciate your time here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is David and I'll see you next video.